in transition. It's harder to defend that. They had a good look. They just didn't finish the play. Here's Tarasi and the first field goal for Phoenix belongs to Diana. She Misty Bass in for the first time, sets that hard screen and gets the ball. Blocked by Thomas, and she runs it down. Watch the rotation by Crystal Thomas, who comes over from the week. For missing that, she was whacked. Coleman baseline. She loves that fading shot. She can shoot it off one leg. 500 mark staying in the playoff hunt. Look at Coleman. Missed it. Rebounded by Christmas. Put up and in. Karima Christmas, her second offensive rebound. Zevils did not score in the first quarter. Remember, she had 33 on Wednesday. Ducks inside on cue for her first two. She is the most improved player because by numbers, she averaged eight points last year. She's at 20 right now. Wow, that's a, that's a significant improvement. Her, off the bench behind Bree. Well, and that's another thing. When Ketchings comes back, that you can make that adjustment because Tamika will initiate some at the point. Karima Christmas has now hit six of her last nine for Indiana <laughs> because you don't expect her to get that, especially against Greiner. Bonner open for three. Indiana does because you need her scoring down low to be a threat. He's only one of two players that averages a double-double. Look at Coleman. Oh, yeah, go ahead, Marissa Coleman. Shoot. Her season high is 20 in D.C. against the Mystics where she started her WNBA career. And Dupree Larkins down the lane. Did not want to challenge Griner, who blocked four shots yeah, see, in the first half. And that's the other thing that Phoenix does a really good job of closing out on the perimeter for the most part. Because you don't have Beaver have a 10-point lead. Tarasi. Basket and a foul. Restart for only the second time in franchise history back in 1998. Taylor, another basket. Penny Taylor has 16. Hit their only three, and she's only a 27% three-point shooter. January up and under. This time got it. Less than a minute to play. Coleman steps back, and Reiner altered that shot, and now starts Diana. Now Dupree, she's been so good tonight with 16. Tarasi open for three and hit it. What a play by Sandy Brondello. That screen against January. Yeah, that was a great play. You got to attack quickly here. January did not get the foul. Bonner, so that means Washington will move to seven and nine. And they would move ahead of Indiana. Here's Christmas, banks it in with 11 seconds to... Eight and five tenths. No timeouts for Indiana. Bonner made them both. 81-76. Five seconds to play. January misses, and that's going to do it.